Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. A lot of guys I've talked to out here, they said they have always wanted to be a police officer, and and I never did. I uh, had family that was police officers, and it never came up in our family, I think, because I was a female, and uh, nobody ever approached me about it. They didn't think it was an issue. So when I did decide to become a deputy with the sheriff's department, it was kind of a shock to our family. But I really enjoyed it since then, and, and I can't imagine doing anything else. 2379 traffic. We're going to check by with the deputy. He uh, did a traffic stop, and it appears he has some narcotics in the vehicle. Where are they coming from? The, over here on Hare Road from the uh, post office. Pulled them over for a headlight out. Found a roach on the uh, dashboard. Yeah, it should be crack pipe in the driver's front pocket. So. Well, it looks like what they have is the uh, local drug dealer. You get a little bit of everything here. You have uh, powder cocaine. You have crack cocaine in uh, cookie form still. They have some needles with uh, unknown type narcotic in it. It didn't test positive for heroin, so it's either going to be cocaine or uh, methamphetamine. You have marijuana, um, crack pipes, pistol. Knife. Yeah, lots of pills, different kinds of pills. Guys, it's a real good street deal. I worked it from a headlight up to this. That's uh, very impressive. I've been with the Sheriff's Department 12 years, and every time I think I've seen it all, <laughs> you see something that totally amazes you. Sometimes it's entertaining, and sometimes it's frustrating, um, but it's always different. I'm gonna pull this vehicle over in front of us. He's not uh, yielding right away to an emergency vehicle and see what's wrong with him. Yes, I'm clear in this regard. Stay in your car. Go ahead and stay in your truck. You're fine. Close the window. Okay, why don't you turn the radio down? I just wanted to ask you uh, can I see your driver's license and your insurance? Get out of the car. 4363. I've just been involved in a uh, fleet. I don't believe I have any injuries. Get out of the car. Step over there. Step over there. Come here. Stand right there. Put your hands up on the back of the car. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, have you had a little bit to drink tonight? No. no. Well, I can smell beer on you. You just ran into the back of a police car. Did you see the lights? 
Not till I got it falling. What? Not till I got it falling. Not till you ran into it? Are you okay? Okay, you're not injured. <laughs> okay. Well, just stay here a minute. Uh, it looks like a drunk ran into the back of us. He appears to be intoxicated. He didn't see my lights. Everybody's okay. Um, they were sitting in the vehicle. I was talking to this guy, and he never slowed down. It was just. This is my driver, this white car. Was he, was he stopped? Yeah, he was stopped. I was stopped a little bit over there, but um, he, this guy hit my car and then smashed into the back of this truck. Just relax. Follow this pin with your eyes. Don't move your head, you understand? Watch this pin right here, right? Don't go up with it. Don't use your arms for balance, move down at your side, look down at your feet, count out loud so I can hear you, and don't stop the test until you've completed it. Do you understand? Okay, you may begin. Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for driving while intoxicated. Field sobriety test. He failed it. He's going to uh, the station now. They're going to do an intoxilizer on him. He has no insurance. He was wearing his seatbelt. I'll say. <laughs> and blinders. I asked him. I said, "Did you see the overheads?" Because I had my overheads on, and he said, "Not till I got right up to you." Well, I have a chauffeur. My sergeant's going to drive me around now. I see. Uh, I see. See you later. All right. Okay, we're en route to a weapons disturbance. There was a man at the front door of the reportee's house with a handgun threatening to shoot the reportee. The guy's supposed to be southbound on, uh, on Pineland from, uh, from the residence. Uh, and we're at Pineland and Highway 90 right now. We're being stopped by train, so this may give us an opportunity to uh, catch him. He's probably going to be just on the other side of this uh, train right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the train. And uh, maybe we'll run into him. See a set of headlights that might look like a Ford pickup truck.
42 at 51, step it up. Get over here and get face down on the ground, lady. Stay in the truck, mister! Face down on the ground. Face down on the ground. Put your face in the ground, ma'am. I'm not going to tell you again. Step out and keep your hands where I can see them. Put your cigarette out. Step out and keep your hands where I can see them. Walk towards me with your hands in the air. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Back up towards me. JP, keep your eye on her. Back up, back up, back up. Stop. Stop. Kneel down on the ground. Keep your hands in the air. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Cross your feet. Sit down on your feet. Sit down on your feet. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Forty-two releases. I got one in custody. Is there a weapon in the car? You got a weapon on you? No. No, no I don't. No. Okay. Crispy. Got a weapon on you? No, I got Get up on your knees. Now stand up. Stand up for me. You're all right. How much have you had to drink, man? He's been drinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got a driver's license? Yeah, which, let us get it. Let which, us get it. Which pocket? There's not an inmate card in here also, is there? You ever uh, been in? I don't, I don't think he's a parolee. Yes, yeah, you're, you're uh -huh. breaking up, sir. Where, wherever you're standing at, you're breaking up. Where's the car going? Did they see the weapon? Just ask the complainant to come up here to Pineland and 90 at the railroad track so we can find out if they want to file charges or not. Yes, have you? Have you get up. You wouldn't have a seat for me. You raped my old lady, man. What's my supposed to do? Well, wait, wait till we get you to the station. We'll go over it, okay? Because you gotta, you gotta work with us. Well, can you take Don't be working again. Can you loosen these? Yes, sir. we'll get them in just a minute. Let me close the door. Did you see a gun? No, sir. Uh, what did you see? I saw a brick in his hand. A brick in his hand? That's right. Okay. And well, you witnessed it. Okay. Yeah, the bricks busted in, in the in, he, in He the, broke in the, the brick on the, on the street. Were you inside your house? Yes. yes. He come beating okay. on my What do you want to do to him? I want to file charges on him, definitely. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. For, um, for assault. Whatever. Terroristic threat. Right. Were you in fear of imminent death or serious violence? I went and got my pistol, and if okay. he'd have still been there when I got back to my back door, I wouldn't have been responsible. Okay. I was scared. Okay. All right. Is he in your car? Yeah. Okay. Is that the man right there? That's him. Okay. And you do want to file charges? Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, switch cuffs out did real they quick. See did they see no them? gun, but he had a brick in his hand, and he was threatening with, with death. He threatened to shoot him. He and he was in fear of imminent death and serious and bodily he, injury. And then when he seen my brother stand up, he said, he backed up two steps and said, I have a gun in my back pocket, pointed over my head, and said, I'll kill you too, for getting up. And that time I, at that time, I closed the door, and I went, got my gun. When I came back, he had gone across the street. We were on the phone with the police at the time. And uh, while we were on the phone with the police, they left in the truck. Well, what were we all arguing about for in the first place? I wish I knew. Do you even know he him? Just came. I don't know him. Do you I know, know her? her? Yes. She, okay. She's been a good neighbor. Her and her husband's going through a divorce. But what he was telling me, and I don't understand where it comes from, that I was never going to put my hands on his old lady again. Okay. And I have no idea yet what he's talking about. Okay. So what we've done is we've arrested the female who was operating the vehicle for driving while intoxicated. Uh, and uh, more than likely, this is going to be her second offense. Uh, and we arrested the male. We're going to try to uh, get the DA to accept aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on him. Uh, the minimum is going to be a terroristic threat. But uh, the train, uh, we can, owe, we can uh, owe this arrest to Southern Pacific for the train being there because it, it held the suspect up just long enough for us to get in the area and get him stopped. So. It turned out good for everybody, and nobody got hurt, and we get to go home when our eight hours is up. It's time to the Harris County Organized Crime Narcotic Task Force. Uh, 
primary function is uh, highway interdiction, uh, assisting the uh, undercover officers whenever they have a narcotic case, search warrants or buy bus. Everything we do is narcotic related. So it kind of makes it pretty interesting and it's pretty hectic most of the time because narcotics, you always want to find guns and a lot of money and people don't want to lose their money, guns or, or dope. So it keeps your uh, stress level pretty high. Okay, we're gonna stop this vehicle here. The driver, the passenger doesn't have, they don't have their seatbelts on. Let's see what the, their story is. And... Passengers, close that door. Close the door, passenger. Driver, come here. How's it going, man? Right. You have a driver's license? Yes, sir. You live here? This is my home where my mama home. Okay. Where, you, where are you coming from? From down to his house. Okay. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Mr. Mitchell, do you have any warrants for your arrest or anything? Any type of uh, tickets that, that you haven't taken care of? Probably, I might have some tickets. You might have some tickets? I might have okay. some tickets. Do you have anything on you, any type of knives, guns, anything like that, anything going to harm me? Okay, do me a favor, why don't you go stand in front of your car, okay? I want to talk to your partner there. Just go sit, sit right there on, on the hood of the car. Just relax. How's it going, guy? Oh. Okay, hold on. Don't move. Don't move, okay? If you move, you're, you're, you're going to get hurt. Now I want you to let me, let me see your hands. We've got an undetermined amount of marijuana here in plain view. Give, just give me your other hand. Sit right there and just give me your other hand. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Okay. I'm gonna listen to me. I'm gonna bring you out. I'm gonna kneel you down right here. Yes, sir. Kneel down. Kneel down right there on both knees. I got no weapon. Okay, well, I'm gonna make sure that you don't. Me a favor. I'm gonna take you down. Just lay down. Don't move. Come here. Come on, Let me see your other hand, man. Okay. Put your hand right there. Put them in my wallet, sir. Put them in my wallet. Give me your hand. What I'm being arrested for? Okay, ma'am, just stay right there, okay? And I'll explain something to you. Spread, spread your legs. Well, ma'am, if you look inside the floorboard out there, that vehicle. We just found, I just found that in the car. I'm trying to take it back to that vehicle. I don't want to be in no trouble. Okay. Look at me. You are under arrest for possession of marijuana. I you ain't have no marijuana. Okay, well, but you are operating this, this vehicle, correct? I ain't have no marijuana. Okay, are you operating this vehicle? I'm operating the vehicle. Okay. But I ain't got no marijuana. Go to the, the back of the car. Have a seat. 304 to 303. Go ahead. Are you at the office? Negative. Wonder if you can check by with me over here in McNair. You got two in custody with uh, quite a bit of marijuana. Henry, I've been around. Okay. Hey, sir, can I move right here? Some hands right here. Yeah, I'm fixing to get you up, man. You, you do understand what the reason why I put you down like that because I got two of y'all and everything. I don't know if y'all had any weapons or anything like that. So, okay. okay. When I say three, stand up. One, two, three. Okay, walking over to this vehicle and just lean over the hood, over me, over this uh, window here. Just lean over it, relax. You want to tell me about this stuff? I'm going to tell you the truth. Lean sir. over the window, man. I ain't going to even lie to you. Well, I hope I'm not. I'm going to tell you the truth. Somebody, I don't know whose it is, but I found it in my driveway this morning. There's a lot of traffic be coming back and forth up this freeway every night. OK, you, so you're, you're telling me that you found it, this marijuana it, it don't, lane? It don't belong to me, not him. OK, but well, wait a minute. You're, you're telling me that you found it on your, on your driveway? On my property last night. OK. And I was going to do something with it. I wasn't going to keep it. But I just came home from jail. Okay. I ain't trying to go back. What did you want to do with it? Turn it in. Turn it in. Why didn't you? On, why didn't, hold on a second. We hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Why didn't you call us from over there? From a, from a, your? I'd rather take it to the police station to get in trouble. You'd rather take it? Yep, because okay. I, because I, it's place right here. The most of my knowledge as far as law enforcement that I, I trust is Wallaceville. And I was going to go there and take it over there because it's the same. I just did nine months stay jail. For what? Trying to, for delivery of a controlled substance. Okay. I'm like, say, man, I just found some weed out here by my house. I said, it ain't none of mine. 
I ain't finna get in trouble behind this. I said, hey, I'm finna go to the laws or something, tell them there's somebody here by my house. Okay. The closest, in the closest station I know besides way in Houston is Wallaceville. We had, we supposed to be going to look for jobs the morning after that Friday right there. I said, I'm finna get rid of this, because I ain't finna be in trouble behind nothing. So you were just trying to be a good Samaritan, right? Yes, sir. These are swishers. What we call swishers are blunts. What they'll do is they'll take, cut the cigar open, pull off the old stuff out of it. Possession of marijuana. And re-stuff it full of marijuana. The thing about it is they'll drive down the road smoking that thing. Think the man ain't going to get them, because it's just another right. guy smoking a cigar. And uh, a lot of cops won't, some cops won't, won't catch it. A lot of cops do. It's the interdiction. I see swishers inside a car. I'm hunting the thing. It's not a bad stop. Not a bad stop at all. That's clear. Let's have a seat. Dogs aren't gonna bite. It's locked up in that cage. Yes, sir. I already patted it down the road thoroughly. And... How much money? 360. 360. Do you work anywhere? I'm parents. Here. I do odd jobs helping people around right here. Ouch! Well, the stop was just done by a passenger and the driver. Did not, they, they didn't have their seatbelt on. Uh, I looked down on, on the floorboard in plain view. I see this clear plastic baggage containing this marijuana. <laughs> Only in America. We'll see you. Okay. We do a lot of, a lot of teamwork down here. Uh, to catch the dope dealers, you got to use teamwork. Uh, they're younger, they're faster than you. We always try to get three to four officers where we, uh, if we're not doing, if we don't have a lot of calls, then we do a lot of proactive police work. Uh, we'll hit the target areas and, um, and try to put an impact in it. It's hard to do, but uh, you know, with the right teamwork, we can get it done. I'm going up ahead and check out this convenience store. It's a uh, known area for. Uh, narcotic trafficking. We're going to check it out. We've got to report suspicious people in the parking lot, possibly uh, selling drugs. So we're going to go check it out. What's the location of where you are? This is 2400 Bronco Mechanic, uh, almost 25th Street. What's your name? Take your hands out of your hand. First name? Fred. You ready to Deshaun? Yeah, that's my cousin. How old are you, Fred? 21. Huh? 21. Where you live at? 27 K. 27 K. Got one running, Sammy. Hold on. 27th and J. What happened? We chased the guy in, he ran from us, he ran straight to the apartment. He's got plenty of weed in here. They're sitting here making it now. One, two, six, do we have somebody else running? I don't think we have a visual on anybody else, Lieutenant. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I don't got nothing on me. Why'd you run? Cuz, man, you messing with me for nothing, sir. Checking to make sure we got all the officers accountable. Okay. Go ahead and sit back down on the butt. Sit on your butt. Come on. Come on this way. Come on this way. Come on. 
Come on, come over here. Come over here. Take the baby to there. Whose house is this? This is her mama's house. Where's your mama at? Okay, let's let's bring her in and ask her if we can look around. We already got a consent from her. We already got a consent. What they do is an example here. They cut it out, empty the uh, tobacco out, and fill it up with marijuana. Sir. Whose marijuana is that? Thing? It's not mine, sir. Hey, you want to tell me why you ran from us? Because y'all was fit to beat me up. No, all we did was stop and ask your name. You're the one who took off running. Y'all right? was fit to beat me up, sir. I ran for my life. I feel my life. Fear of your life. That's what you ran from the police? Yes, sir. All right. See, this right here is where they've been making marijuana cigars. This is the tobacco they have been emptying out of regular cigars. And filling up with marijuana. So they've been making, uh, he's done quite a bit of business tonight, uh, selling. And the worst part, he puts all his evidence right out front for everybody in the world to see. I just want to file on what? somebody, because I mean, I got little kids I'm okay. trying to look out for. Man, I, and I cannot take this. They are driving me crazy. Damn, y'all don't care about nothing or nobody. But you know what? I want all of y'all away from me. I'm going to have a heart attack trying to worry about the grown-ups and the kids. This is wrong. Damn, it's wrong. How old are you? How old are you? Man, I'm That's just fine. sick of this. Give her Damn, I'm notice not hurt. to come back here. And if she comes back here, oh. you want to follow her? You I, I, I do. I ask them to stay out of here. Huh? Damn. Get your here. staff and get out here and don't come back. Man, when I left here early, I told get her. Your I said, get your stuff. I'm like, you I'm come back here again, you'll be arrested, room. okay? I've been gone all day. Cigar. Did you see the trash can out front of your house? No, I They've didn't. They've been making this for some... By it's full time, of... I've been gone all day, and I just came in, and I left again. If I hit y'all do something to me yeah, all damn day that. long, I cannot work and try to take care of my family without having <laughs> like this happen. Now, if I got to get out with me and my little kids going, you don't give a damn. Damn. I wish I had a gun. I'd kill all of these damn dope dealers and users because I'm fed up with this. They ruin people's lives. You have to be careful about who you get to watch your kids next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. All I can say is, it's your house, you told her to stay out, so and I don't want she comes I don't back want again, then you have a right to follow them. Because like I say, when I left, I told her don't have anybody in here. Mm -hmm. And that girl was not in here, that boy damn sure wasn't in here. When we ran so you know the what, house. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm, this is not a dope house, I don't indulge in dope. I ha dope has ruined my whole family. So you know, anything that I can do to stop it, I'm gonna try to, but they're gonna have to just, I need to just, damn. Well, you just took the first step, okay, so. You told them, you gave them notice not to come back here, come back oh, here man. again. Oh, Lord. Then you have the right to file them. Well, I'm, I'm going to call They come running they back call. in here again, we're going to chase them. Well, I don't, I, like I'm saying, I we keep my door locked. So that's why when I'm not here, she just open the door and let them in. But like I'm saying, I don't want that here when I came in here. You. When, I, when I ran in here, there's been eight people in here. It's just a very sad situation. She's very upset for the welfare of her kids. It's a, it's a sad situation. Uh, but right now, we're going to guy's in custody and he's gonna be off the streets right now and it's just a sad situation here the mother's still very upset we're headed to a location in far east harris county uh, it's gonna be the northern part of laporte it's a neighborhood that's uh, well known for uh, crack dealing in the marijuana you come through here any time of the day and uh, purchase any type of narcotics that you like it's just an old neighborhood that uh, it's kind of like lost touch with reality and Quite possible that anything we stop out here is going to, you know, the person's going to have narcotics or has been arrested for narcotics before. Yeah, there we go. Close the door and all. He's going to peek inside that vehicle, so anything's in plain view. Put that white guy up. Where's that white guy? Come here, man. Look out, Fred. He ain't waiting on my mom. You have a driver's license? Uh -huh. you, have, you have a driver's license? What would I do? This you, private property. All this private property. You were in the, you were in the front seat of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I, I need to hear your driver's license. Right. Just stay on. Get handed over here. I'll okay, sir. I, I, I want you to step back over there, okay? I, I'm not talking to you. If you, come, if, you, if you come closer to me, I'm going to put you under arrest for hindering. How old are you? 20. 20? Do you have any insurance on the vehicle? Yes, sir, I do. What are you doing out here? 
This is your, used to be my old roommate. Okay. I'm a very close friend of his family, so I come here all the time. Sir? Sir, sure. okay. Let's listen to me. Listen, listen to me, okay? If I, listen to me, okay? If I want to know something from you, I'll ask you. Do you have anything inside the vehicle that shouldn't be in here? No, sir, I don't. So being that you don't have anything in here, you wouldn't mind me checking, right? No, sir, I won't. Okay. Have you ever been in jail? Yes, sir, I have. For what? For uh, uh, minor possession. Minor possession? Okay, come on. A ball call. And uh, come over here. And what else? That's it? This is, this is your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. So you don't have anything in there, right? No, sir, I don't. Was that your backpack that I saw back there in the back seat? No, sir. It's not, it's I don't not your know backpack? Any backpack. Okay, you want to you want to open up the door and, and just see that blue backpack that's back there? With that blue backpack right here? That's your, yours? No, sir, it's not mine. Is it yours? No, sir, it's not. It's not? No, well, the, wait a minute. I mean, it's inside your vehicle, right? Is there anything inside this vehicle that you don't want me to know about? Man, I'm telling you right okay. now. Okay, just relax. Just, just go ahead and sit down, okay? Just, just go ahead and sit down. Okay, why don't you hand me that backpack? This ain't my damn backpack. It's not your backpack, no, sir. but this is your vehicle, right? This is my vehicle. Okay, well, you are under arrest, okay? What else is in here? Man, I don't know. Okay, listen to me, okay? I want you to stand up and put your hands behind your back. Don't get all froggy on me either. I'm gonna walk over to this vehicle. I'll come back over here. Look out, Preston. Yeah, if you can't, if you can't turn back, I got about half a pound over here. Put in right here. Don't move. No, man. Oh, Why is it? Because that's not mine. It's your vehicle, isn't it? Yes, sir, but that's okay. not mine. What? Well, you want to tell me who, who, who it belongs to? I don't know. Ask him. Seriously. Is it safe to say that maybe he put he uh, he put that backpack back yes. there? Yes. Because I sure, man. If I was mine, I would tell you. Okay. You sit there and think about it. Make sure. Eight, four, five, copy. I had two. I don't know. You got two baggage here. Three separate baggage, packaged separately. Uh, four baggies. Four individually baggies. Four or five, go ahead. Four or five, registration on Mary X-ray David 39 That's not my bag. My clothes were, were inside the here. I don't know how they got in the truck. Oh, you don't know how those they got are in my, These are my shoes right here. Those okay. clothes are those? Those clothes are mine. I just told them those clothes are mine, but the bag and all okay. this. You have no idea how this clothes got inside this bag. I don't have any idea how the clothes got inside the bag. I sure don't. Cause Eric, like I say, I I didn't even stay at home last night. I stayed at a room. I just came from the room to get my pager, which I had left in there. Go back to the back of the truck, man. Wait back there. Okay. Just, no. uh, just take huh? him over to the white guy and let him confront each other. Come here. Turn, Turn over here. Right here. Look at your friend. Say, uh, Jeremy, whose dope is it? Man. Don't be all scared, man. You told me earlier whose dope I is it. I got two kids, and you know that. What? Why are you? Why are you telling me this is my dope, Johnny? Because it's not mine. Whose bag is that? That man, it's not mine. Jeremy, whose who's backpack is that? That's his bag. Okay, the clothes that was inside the backpack. Who's the, who's Those are his. If I put them on, you'll no, I know. I didn't admit it to my clothes already. Jeremy, Jeremy, who put the backpack in, in that mm -hmm. vehicle? Why would he be telling me that? It's kind of hard to explain. When did he put it in there, Jeremy? Earlier today, I guess. An hour ago, two hours ago, or when? About two hours ago. Why okay. did he put it in there? An hour ago, I guess, or something like that. Why did he put it in there? I don't know. Man. I don't want to tell you, man. He, man okay, well, I'll, he tell you what I, I'll tell you what I, I'm going to tell you, okay? You are going to be under arrest right now. You are under arrest for possession of, of marijuana. Put your hand uh, behind your back. Just put your hand behind your back. Scoot in. So he's telling you, gonna, man. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you down. I'm, I'm gonna ask the DA and everything. You know, it's kind of funny that the backpack doesn't belong to him. You did admit that that clothes is yours. I admit you know? those pants were mine. The, the pants, the pants and the shirt. Okay. So and you're trying to make him out. Say, you're trying to say that he made an accessory because he's telling you he's sticking. No, uh, I already the know. Type of accessory. Yeah. I know. I already know. Come here. I already know. 
Scoot over. No. Scoot over. Scoot over. Okay. We they were cruising earlier watching us. And uh, that's what he's saying now. He said when he seen us when we first entered into the port, they're riding around. He said that's when they come over here. And he said uh, he put the bag in there because we were riding around because he had it carrying on his back. Oh, the uh, big boy. The big boy did? Yeah, he said he had the bag on his back. And when he seen us first enter in, he said because he never what we do when we come over here. He said put it in the truck. Typical day in narcotics. <laughs> How's it going, Coach? Today's kids are tomorrow's leaders. Their minds are always thinking, they're always working, they're always moving. Um, they're just they're just special people that are that are out there and if you don't show them away sometimes they, they get they stray from that path of righteousness that we all try to live by. I have a two and a half year old and he, he's not old enough to play yet, but I can't wait to the day that he's able to play. 3220. Point We're going to disturbance over civil code, city code violation. We're en route to a call. Got a report he's stating that she, they advised two juveniles with a handgun in their possession. Uh, we're going to try to intercept them up here. We have units en route to back us up. 27. Stand by for another unit to help you I'm going to be out on Ember and Finfrock. Ember and Finfrock. 27 area. What's up, bud? What's, up, What's going on? All right. You got a driver's license? Yeah. Insurance? Yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. Go ahead and turn your car off. Where are you coming from? School? Yeah. Somebody else with you? Yeah. Who is it? Where at? I'm Where at? Right there on mobile. On mobile? Yeah. We have 430 Finfrock? Yeah. Go ahead and step out the car. Right here? Step out the car. Step back here to the rear park. Keep your hands up where I can see you. Anybody else your hands on the car, sir. Yeah, right down the back of you. Interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers. What, pardon? Straight like that. Why would somebody call us and say that you had a gun? You got a toy gun in there? You got a toy gun? Well, that would be a gun. Where's it at? In there? Where in there? Under the front seat. Under the front seat. Why would you Why would you be carrying that, sir? Because I had it in there. Because you had it in there? Yeah. How old are you? 16. Well, he advised that he's got a plastic no. toy gun in, on, under the front seat. As you walk up, you can see it sitting right here on the floorboard. It's good enough to get shot over. Sir, where'd you get this? Store? A store. Keep your hands what right here. Right supposed here. to be on it. Don't in there. Huh? Don't keep your hands on the back of your head. Don't Is this do that worth again. getting shot over? No. Is this look pretty would... real to you? If I walked up with this on my hip, would you think it was a real gun? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually considered carrying a prohibited weapon because you're uh, passing this off to be a prohibited weapon. So we're going to discuss right now whether we're going to place you under arrest for carrying this or not. I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell us the complete version before I place you under arrest. What's a complete version? How did someone even see you with that gun? I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay, that's a good answer. Oh. Where'd you see me at? That's not the question. The question was, why would someone what was a complete version? That gun? Probably because my friend took it out and he was playing with it. Oh, took it out. Why did he take it out? Huh? Okay, it was right there. You can, you can see it right up. there. You know, all see it. And he, he took it out. Okay. Were y'all walking down the street with it? No. Wrong. We weren't walking down the street with it. Okay. We have witnesses saying otherwise, okay? I've been in a car since, since I, I got in it after school. Okay. Okay. Come on this way. Go with him. Yo sé. Tú sabes cómo tú Yo le hablé a tu papá. 
Bueno, lo que pasa, señor, ahorita... Se viene de la escuela. Ok, déjame explicarle, ok. Lo que pasa es que alguien lo vio con esa pistola... Que esa pistola que está ahí arriba de, de la cojuela ahorita. Were you able to ascertain if uh, he, uh, he saw somebody else get out the car? Get out of the car? Yeah, see if he dropped somebody else off. Hey, Jim, how many people were in the car? Huh? How many people were in the car? Two. Did he drop somebody off? Yeah. Who did he drop off? Uh, just another uh, guy back up here. Who's the one that pulled the gun? The driver did. The driver? Okay. Can you explain to us what happened? I was sitting at uh, the intersection uh, at Jackson and Shaver, okay. and uh, a couple guys come by in the uh, crosswalk and uh, shot the finger at the kid in the car, the driver. Okay. He reached under the seat and pulled out the gun, pointed at him, then put it back under the seat and made a right turn and left. Okay, and you followed him yeah. throughout the whole thing? Right. Okay. So there was another gentleman with him, another right. juvenile with him, got right. off, dropped him off, right. and you, you stayed following yeah. the... Okay. So did it look real to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. He was saying that the, uh, the orange band identified as a toy was somewhere in the car. Who, the, the driver? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll check. We'll check before we finish releasing the vehicle. Okay. See if to show that he purposely took it off. Okay. That's clear. I'll take these cuffs off. I want you to put your right hand on the back of my car and put your left hand on the back of my car. Do you understand? All right. Uh, district attorney declined to take the charge and recommended that we pursue the case in a Class C misdemeanor. Uh, suspect's going to be issued a citation and released to his parents as well as his vehicle. Um, he'll have to go to court here in the city of Pasadena and answer to the judge here in Pasadena why he did what he did. This is in fact how it goes on the gun to show that it is a play gun. The, the toy makers have made it to where when you see something with a bright orange on it, it's supposed to show that it's a, a toy gun. Once you take that off and it exposes that barrel like that and you point it at somebody, all they see is a hole. It's enough to scare anybody to think it is a real gun. I've been with the Sheriff's Department for about six years. I have to say my favorite part of the whole thing is when you're driving through traffic somewhere in your police car and a little kid sticks his hand up out the window, kind of waves at you and says hi, he's in awe just looking at you. That's one of the things that makes you feel the best. Three forty nine shots fired. Uh, did you get any description of the subject? White male, possible mustache. I didn't get a real good look at him. He was trying to run me out with a car when I was trying to get in front of him. Claire. Don't touch anything. All you need to be advised, um, we have a citizen on the line that's supposedly following this vehicle westbound, passing westbound old 90 up on the beltway. The advisor is going to be a foreign hatchback. The back <laughs> window looks like it said it was shot out. Come out of the restaurant over here from eating dinner. I heard a male screaming for help. I come around the corner. The, ma the manager of the store here is struggling with a, a suspect with a knife. There's apparently robbery in progress. I tried to step in front of the vehicle to stop the male inside. He started the vehicle and started to move toward me. So I ended up having to fire several rounds at him to, in an attempt to stop him. Uh, there's some units that are in pursuit of him on down the freeway. There's a citizen in a vehicle that uh, apparently saw where he went, and they're following him this time. So hopefully we're going to have a suspect in custody here real soon, and then we'll find out whether he was actually struck or not. OK. Yeah, I've secured the scene. All the cups are my my brass. They're co each one's covering a piece of brass. Okay. Nothing's moved. I've let nobody else go in the store. The managers, uh, whoever he is, is right here. That's my vehicle there. We just came out from eating. I heard him screaming for help. I come around the corner to see what's going on. Okay. And that's when it's going down. There was a motorcycle and another car that were, that were just trying, trying, to to, yeah, trying to chase him down. So it's a, yeah. it's a four door station wagon. He went down west to 90. On 90. You know, he, he went west. He went on this street right here. You make a ride. Then he made another he ride. Around, then he, he made, made a, a left that way and he took off. This is about five minutes ago, Yes, sir. This is about five minutes ago, though, sir. Yeah, we were jogging right here at the school. We heard the shots. There was only one person, though. I mean, they were, we even heard the shots. There's about eight shots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. Somebody got an evidence bag in their car. 
Hey, Sarge, you got an evidence bag? The guy dropped his wallet. Oh, yes. All right. Let's secure it in the car. That's Okay, they've got the suspect in custody, and they said he's unconscious. I don't know if they just found him or what the deal is. So they got an ambulance en route, and they can't determine if he's been shot or not yet. So we should know something in uh, just a minute or two. Well, a couple minutes, depending on how long it takes EMS to get there. Anything else hit? No, that should be it. Have you looked around at everything and make sure nothing else was hit? Oh, I know nothing else was hit. Okay. All, everything started right here. I come around on him. His car was backed in. I stepped around, I said something to him, he looked at me, threw it in gear, and I just started firing and getting out of the way. Step out. Step out of the car. I can't when inside. No, I know you're lying to me too, man. I know you're lying to me. I didn't mean to. Stand right there. No, it's the one on the left, man. Please. Just the one on the left. 2331. I ain't got nothing on me, man. Can I have my shoes back? We don't have any shoes. You ran out of them. I got size 12 feet. You're going to tell me I ran out of my shoes. I got to get on that. Is that all, Sarge, that needs to look? You check it one more. Stand right there, get your car. Get back. Just relax. I'm trying to relax. My arm's going numb, man. I understand that, sir. No, you don't. Put these on these for you about five minutes. Let your arm go numb. And then you're going to tell me to relax. Just relax. Calm down. I've been relaxed. Okay. I'm so high on cocaine right now. It don't matter, but my arm's going numb, man. You didn't tell me I ran out of my shoes. I ain't got that. that quick. Ran out of what? You said I ran out of my shoes. I ain't that damn quick. Well, I don't know. I don't know what happened to your shoes. I know you do, man. How would I know what happened to your shoes? You're the one that arrested me. You know how long you been in Harris County? It's 92, man. I know y'all, man. Yeah. Okay, my ass. Y'all are good, but you ain't that good. You're in custody, aren't you? No, you ain't that damn good. You could have caught everybody else, too, huh? I guess so. Yeah. You catch one at a time. Man. You're a rookie, dude. Yeah, I know. Come on. This is the first time you've been here. Is that everybody? Hey, ask uh, Frank if we got any more witnesses. Well, there wasn't nobody here, man. OK, that's it. What do you mean there's nobody here? There wasn't nobody here. Nobody you said you're going to loosen these up, man. Right in. Okay, go on in. They already been loosened. Oh, they have it. Get in. Right? The robbers going to be making this. They're going to do the whole deal. They're going to do the whole deal. And uh, Homicide's not going to make it because he wasn't shot. So we're waiting on robbery ID and internal affairs. Well, do you guys carry him back to Walsh Hill? Or? Start getting him booked in APHIS and uh, uh, tell Alicia to start cutting the supplement as far as the identifications. Okay. All right. Man, he's back here, huh? Probably not his first actual robbery because he had clothes with him. He had shoes. It was almost as if what he was going to do is he was going to come through. He was going to elude the police if he got in that kind of position. When he got to the second second yard, the third fence. He went over the fence, they lost him when he went around the corner. He circled back, came right back. Hit the dumpster. Not real bright. Hell, he was standing right there, we walked right back the first time. <laughs> I have two older brothers, I'm the baby. And it was, it was pretty cool growing up with them. I mean, they taught me a lot of stuff. And they didn't treat me like a little baby. Yeah, we played, we played sports together. Pretty much they beat me up the whole time. When, when you're growing up, you know, you play things with your brothers and friends, but sometimes this out here, it's a lot different. People you know, they really want to hurt you. They're not playing. They really want to hurt you. And it's kind of a fight for your life. It's not just for fun to see what you can do. 31, could you be sent on the receipt? 31, please come on. 42, 17, you in service for a call. 
We got a call of an assault in progress. Now it's been updated to a possible affray. Uh, several subjects out here fighting. Thirty-two, thirty-two out. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. What is the deal? Well, she sits there. She gets drunk. She parties. She runs around. She's getting drunk. She's getting high. She's a parolee. Uh, she come in today, drunker than raising hell. And I told her, look, I ain't putting up with it. I'm tired of it. You know, you can just pack your stuff, take your kid, and leave. Just I've got, here. I've got here. two 18-month-old twins. And she's, you see what I look like? This is her. Just wait right here. Okay. I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just tired of the assault. I'm fine. All right. She's paroling. Like I said, I've already made two, two charges on her. He threatened him, put him in the corner, wouldn't let him get on the phone, and just said he'd kill me before I even seen it coming. He just drug me from one end of the trailer to the other by my hair, and I'm steady which holding at him. Which one are you staying in? Because I've been out here on y'all. Number 20. Where'd you go last time I was out here when y'all got I, into I, it? I walked down the road that way. You're staying? I left. I left. I was gone for two, three months. He said he wanted to work it out, let us get back together. So I came back. He came back from Virginia off a of summer vacation. And the fighting's starting all over again. If he'll let me, I'll pack my clothes and get my car. Any been drinking today? Well, I had one drink. Here. One drink. One. Drink. Which was what and how large? A mug, a margarita like this. That's it. And that was an hour ago, two hours. Do you have any ago. ID on you? But I'm not. No, I don't. What's that in your pocket? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stupid. Yep. Go ahead and put the drink down for me, all right? The only thing I have is a pulse card. That's fine. That's fine. Put your hands behind your head for me. Behind your head. But I want to file a talk to Well, we'll talk me. about that in Child just a abuse second. and whatever. Here, hold on a second. Watch your head. What have you been in trouble for? I've done a burglary of an auto, credit card abuse, and possession. I've got a couple of uh, liquor violations from working in the club. Okay, so you've served time before? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you're on parole right now? I've done six years on parole. Well, exactly what are you on parole for right now? For just what I told you. For all those things right. all together? Right. I've got six years too. I've only got four left to go. Four left. Is this going to revoke your parole problem? Well, I'm sure it will. Well, I mean, I ask you for ID and you give me a, a joint. No, I didn't know it was there. I know it sounds stupid, but. All right, thanks. Uh, the little boy vibes that there's two twins, babies over here, and a number 20, and there's no one over here with them. So he doesn't know if they're sleeping or they're running around. There's the baby. The dad's coming now. I guess he's not going to be arrested, so. Looks like the guy's okay. He's asleep. Well, I, I just, mean, yeah. that's a little silly, don't you think? I mean, y'all getting all into this argument and leaving a baby by itself? Well, I knew, I just put him down. I just put him down. Well, you don't think things can happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, things always happen. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that I was waiting on the law, I wouldn't have left the house. I never leave the house with these babies. So what did the other officer tell you? He, he told me that he's going to take her to jail. He was asking me what happened. I explained to him what it was. Told him, you know, the people she's partying with over here are the people that sell her her dope. Right. And I'm fed up with it. I've told her I don't want the around my house. I don't want this. I don't want that. Yeah, she got the 13-year-old, 12-year-old kid out there. He's found in sixth grade for the second time. And she doesn't do anything, yeah. Well. Oh, well. You need, to, you need to do something else. You don't need her then, man. Well, that's exactly my point. You need to take care of these babies. That's right. That's okay. my point. She left for three and a half months and left off, took off, left them when they were sick, left me with no no strollers, no you know, car seats, nothing at the time. Yeah. I said, it ain't happening no more. 
All right. Yeah. These are my main concern. I was 40 years old before I had these babies. And this is my main concern. Well, I hope you do. Yeah. I'll take, take care, care of my of babies first. Well, I hope you do. All right, sir. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. 1325 in trend at one time, one white female. He's going to be charging her with uh, public intoxication as well as marijuana possession and mutual combat assault. And she'll be taken down and filed on and be sent to county. Well, they let another guy out on parole. Subject's considered dangerous. They want you to keep an eye out for him. Subject was released from TDC, Huntsville Institutional Division. Subject was to arrive at the Southern Correction System in El Paso. And he didn't show up, so they want you to pick him up. Okay, we got a attempted murder. Attempt to locate a gray 88 Ford Escort, vehicle owned by an assault victim. Assault attempted murder occurred in San Angelo within the last two hours, and that's 11-8 at 2.05. That was in the morning, early morning hours before we got off. So if you find it, sack it up, okay? All right, you have a good night. Be careful. <laughs> One I believe the, you know, the full moon has, you know, has a contributing factor in people's behavior, makes them act up. Also, we have we have a cold front coming in, and probably those two combinations probably don't, you know, don't, don't help matters. Makes people become, you know, a little more crazy. Okay, we're going to a disturbance call, 900 block of Antelope Street, and uh, we're right up here on top of the call. Howdy, sir. Uh, I'm going to lock your gates so I don't have she's to just hold Okay, I'll come talk to you. I'm laying right down in the bed and she's raising hell trying <laughs> to cause trouble. She hit her sister just now. Okay. Who's, I'm going to go get the uh, I'm, I'm afraid your fence is who, who are we talking about? Your, 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 is this your this wife? Is no, no, I'm not married to one of them. She just lives with you? I already told her to get off the property, but she won't go. Her name is Glenda. There's two of them. There's two sisters. I live in rooms. It's not a living room. It's a storeroom for my business. Take a left. And the right. Hey, Glenda. What's going on? Talk to me. Why am I over here? What happened? I don't like it. Yeah. You don't like getting beat up? Who beat you up? Your sister? You two get to fight and you got injuries to show? No. You and your sister sit out here in front of the house during the summertime, don't you? All oh, every day, don't you? I see y'all. Okay, that's where I've seen you before. You look familiar. Nothing happened tonight, then? No. Maybe a little argument, maybe? No. Do you live here in this house? Yes. Does she live here too? Yes, Sky. This is Glenda. Her nickname is Sunny. And the other one is Glenda. Her nickname is Sky. I can't talk. I've got to learn. She has been the flu. She was hooking her heart. Okay. She was hooking her heart. Okay. Okay. Sonny, why don't you let me tell the man what happens? All right, you don't talk. All right. If she's just been in a snit all evening about everything in general, we made supper. I made supper, the beans, and she made the salmon. Anyway, she turns around. And we just made smoked salmon. Tell more to her. Honey, let me finish. Okay, well, Anyway, and we won't do what she says. She turns around, dials 911, and hangs it up. Says she's gonna put us all in jail. Well, that's a false report as far as I'm concerned. Because I'm laying in there in the bed. Sonny's sitting over there in the chair, not doing anything to her. And then, okay. after she hangs up the phone, it starts ringing, because your dispatcher called back on 911. Uh, it rang four or five times. She wouldn't answer. I picked it up and I told her what was going on. It's just a false report. Okay. All right, then this guy gets up, goes over, Punches Sonny again in the same place where she hit her two nights ago. That's the shiner she got then. See? And goes into the kitchen. And then you guys showed up. Okay. That's all there was to it. What's that? What's that? Show me. Show us. He did it. He did it. Why is she saying that you did it? She's actually... No. Okay, you know why she's saying that? Because another thing put it out to get out. Look, look. Howie. 
And right now, no, I don't How'd you get my, that one on there? I don't have my cast on. Oh, you got a broke leg, though? And how'd yeah. you get that? That's an old one. That's it's beautiful. over and over and over. That's two or three days old. It's yeah. over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Any type of family violence we were called out here for. There's the evidence of family violence. You know, she was assaulted, hit in the eye. So, you know, since we're here, we're going to have to separate them, okay? It's fine for me. She's nothing but a troublemaker anyway. All right. Uh, okay. on my side for 10 years. Oh, that cigarette's all going in it. Smoked it up. I, I smoked the butt. I, I, I know. Would you please piss out? Where do you have? Do you have an ashtray? Oh, no, this dump. You guys just throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay, I'll stand up for him, Glenda. Turn, turn this way. Put your hand right there. Got it. This is. Uh -huh. What do you do? You're under arrest for family assault, Linda. What? Check this out. Uh -huh. what? Wait a minute, what? Okay. okay, you got her? You gotta put a stop to this for the night, okay? Okay. Go on, go on in the room, okay? Thanks, no, Sonny! Need, go on in there. Come on. Guy! You, uh, She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. We're doing it. She doesn't have anything to do with it. We're doing it. Okay. Because we can't have you too fight. Yeah, come on. Guys, she doesn't have anything to do with it. She didn't have anything to say so in it. We're doing to prevent any more fighting here. We can't have you two fight with each other. Okay. But we're not fighting. All right. We're well. not fighting. Come on, son. Come on. Hi, Sonny. I don't know. Just stay on there. Yeah, but I don't want to go to jail. Well, you're gonna have to go there for a little timeout. That's all it is—a little timeout so you can cool off. We... Sonny, they're just trying to help us to get out of here. Come on, shh, shh. Come on. we don't want him to. Okay. You under arrest because y'all had a little fight, family violence. Okay, you hit her. She's got a black eye. It's I did her. not hit her. She, he hit her. All right. Okay. Well, you're under arrest for family violence. You're gonna be in jail for a night or two. This sister was demanding that they bring her food, bring her blankets, and so they had words, and then she called the police and hung up the phone and said she's going to have them all arrested. And then uh, he spoke with a dispatcher on the phone, and then uh, I guess that she popped the sister in the, in the eye. That's pretty good shiner. This, is, this has to stop.